Jadarian, can you just talk about how patient you've been and how much you relish the opportunity to start and kind of show your full and complete skill set? Yeah, um, you know, I give I give thanks to a lot of guys in the locker room and our, our training staff who who helped me along the way, just being patient. Because you no, know, coming back from an injury like mine, it's it's not easy. But um, you know, it's been a long season. I'm glad I've like looking back at it. I'm glad I've come this far. So I'm excited. Yeah. What's the energy level been for you and the team so far? Um, energy's been high, especially after last night. You know, um, after our first practice here, and um, you know that they're not lying about it is it's not called Sun Bowl for, for no reason. So you know, just just coming out here and, and being able to play football again, especially for me in my home state. Um, the energy's been pretty high. You know, last night we, we went to a, a steak uh, steakhouse and we had some pretty good steak. And just being together as a team is the most important thing. And uh, times that, you know, I really will not take for granted. So, You talked about getting your opportunity in this game. Just what are you kind of hoping to prove on Friday? Um, just to prove that I can put a final stamp on the season and going into next season and just showing all of Notre Dame fans that they should be even more excited for next season and um, just continue to build on the standard of our running back room. What do you think about the, the rival that we do? Um, so apparently we have, we are 0-2 against Oregon State and we are looking to change that on Friday Friday uh, afternoon. So we're just, just happy to have this opportunity to play another football game. How exciting is it to get to have a little tandem opportunity with Jeremiah? Oh yeah, I, I love Jeremiah. He's, he's currently my roommate right now and um, you know, every night we're just talking about what we think we're going to do on Friday and how we're going to shock the world. So. How, uh, he, he spoke highly of Audric the other day. What does it mean to kind of play for him in a sense to kind of continue to build upon what he did in the fantastic season that he had? Yeah, just kind of, you know, sitting on the sideline and, and watching what Audric does and on and off the field. It's kind of, you know, um, you really appreciate someone like that who, who come in and three years he's already out and, it just, you know, that's that's obviously your plan, uh, me and Jeremiah. But, uh, just, you know, him being out and us getting a chance to um, have more opportunities, you know, every chance we're in there, we have to show that we're in there for a reason. So. What do you feel like Angeli will bring to the table um, in, in the bowl game and, you know, his first start? I think he's become a lot more confident since, um, you know, our opening game against Navy. You know, he's he's been in a lot of games um, since we've, you know, been blown out a couple teams. He's been in, he's been in a couple games, and uh, you could just you could just see the confidence in his eyes and his you know his cadence and all that. And I've seen that from the pre-practice when we break the huddle and just you know he's he's uh, speaking a lot more. He's speaking to uh, all the all the uh, position groups a lot more, and we're all very confident in him. Do you, do you guys need to change the offense at all um, for him, or is it going to more or less be the same? Oh, not at all. The offense is going to be the same, and uh, Coach Gadulli is going to do a great. Great job uh, on play. So, two more questions. Do you have a sure. message to all the North Dakota fans uh, abroad and especially here in El Paso? Um, oh, I just want to say thank you to the people of El Paso for welcoming us and go Irish. Have you ever been here? I know it's quite a distance from Denison, but I've never been this far southwest. Um, but I'm excited to be here. It's pretty cool. Like you look out and see like the mountains in the distance. So I'm loving it. All right, thanks, Jadari. Thank you. Eli, how important is it for you personally to sort of build on what you did down the stretch coming off an injury and getting some pretty serious playing time, also being a focal point of the passing game? Yeah, it was uh, it was really special for me. Uh, important in the way that I, uh, I'm more confident in how I play now. Uh, I know what I can do. And, um, yeah, it's been really important for how I practice and how I played in games, my confidence. So, yeah. A lot of guys opting out, transferring, and even the offensive coordinator is different. What's it kind of been like this month practicing, trying to just keep things as close to the same as they were before? Yeah, it's definitely been different. We have a pretty much a whole new team. It's been weird with the offense. A lot of guys that are new faces, but uh, the players and coaches have done a great job with all the distractions, just keeping focused and getting our work done. And uh, I feel really confident about where we are right now. So. What does Angeli bring to the table at the quarterback position? What do you expect from him on Friday? Yeah, uh, Angeli's been doing great. Uh, I, oh, I only think great things of him. He's going to do a great job, and I'm very confident in him. What are the sensations to participate in the 90th edition of the second oldest bowl in the, in the country? Uh, yeah, it's very special to us. Um, El Paso welcomed us in 
a way we never thought and we've had so much fun already and um, yeah I'm very excited about where this is heading so where have you seen Flanagan grow the most in the last month or so yeah uh, Cooper's done a great job stepping up um, he's a very physical blocker uh, more confident in the playbook and he's done a good job of practicing this month so how have you seen Gino kind of take this opportunity as an interim for this one game to, to kind of keep the offense humming along as it was those last two regular season games. Yeah, he's done a great job. Um, you know, it's a big deal when our OC leaves, and he's done a great job of not panicking and just kind of stepping in where uh, Jared Parker was, and uh, he's done a great job of uh, filling in, so. Uh, Charles, uh, at left tackle, what kind of blocker is he when you guys are in tandem? Yeah, he, uh, I, I, yeah, Charles is going to be a really good player for us. Uh, he's done a great job in bowl practice. He knows what he's doing. He's very physical. Um, which is pretty rare to see as a proud of a freshman. I'm excited what he can do in the future. So, see one more for Eli. If there is one more. What message do you have to the Notre Dame fans out there? Uh, we're gonna give it all, our, our, our all on Friday, and go Irish. All right. Thanks, Eli. Thanks, Eli. Thanks. Howard, how important is this game for you to kind of springboard into the off season moving forward? Uh, I mean, this is a this, this is the starting point for a very great year. You know, uh, I was talking to my dad, it's like if you want to go into the season being that guy, uh, this is it. This is where you prove to everybody that uh, you can be with the best. So. What was the decision for you to come back? I think a lot of people thought that you would probably moved on, but like you said, you're, you're trying to be the best in this next season, and I think a lot of Irish fans are definitely excited that you're coming back. Uh, I mean, two things. Uh, obviously, yeah, first of all, like you said, uh, I feel like I, I still have a lot left in the tank here. Uh, then talking to, to coaches, our coaches and everything like that, like I feel like I can really benefit from one more year. And the other side of that, NFL does stand for not for long, right? So I want to get my master's done, uh, make sure I get everything uh, I can get done at Notre Dame because it's a great university and uh, get everything done going, going forward. I'm sure you and Riley kind of made your own decisions, but when it comes out that he's also staying, how big is that to have both of you guys on the interior next year? Uh, it's huge. I mean, um, we are, we're both big parts of the defense, so both of us coming back just is a really good uh, part or base to, to build a great offense next year. So, What were your masters being? Uh, so mine is in nonprofit management. So I want to do science and management, but uh, there wasn't a lot of time to do that during the season. So uh, I, I stuck with nonprofit management. So uh, I mean, I like it. I enjoy it. Obviously, it's a little hard. Got Notre Dame master's course, but I mean, getting through it. What's the energy level? Uh, it's high. I mean, obviously, uh, any chance to play in the bowl game is huge. Uh, most people have, haven't been out here. Most people haven't even been to Texas. So uh, we've, had, we've had fun so far, uh, and we look to keep this going after Friday, or at Friday. What is the Friday. feeling about uh, having a Christmas near Mexico, Tocolos? Um I mean, it's, it's, it's nice, you know, uh, being in, like, a, a new location. Um, I mean, obviously, yeah, for some guys, the, the younger guys, specifically freshmen who haven't been away from their families for Christmas. I remember my first Christmas away from my family. It's a little rough, but older guys, like, it's it's a nice change of scenery. Everybody, everybody likes it. Everybody's having fun. So uh, we had a little Christmas celebration at our hotel, and uh, everybody had a good time. There's one more for Howard. Of, okay, one more. There's going to be a lot of Notre Dame fans there on Friday. What does it mean to have that support here? Uh, obviously, it's huge. Um, anywhere we go, obviously being – University of Notre Dame. Everybody knows us, or everybody, your guesses or not, everybody knows us. So uh, most of the time, if we go to stadiums that don't really pack a lot, it's all Notre Dame fans. Even opposing teams, uh, big stages, we're usually, or actually always, the majority of the fans there. So obviously, we're the best fans in the world. Uh, we're going to show them why. See y'all Friday. All right, thanks, Howard. Jaden, you, you come off as incredibly uh, competitive at all times. Where does that come from? <clears throat> is it a, a mindset thing from youth? Just kind of talk to me about your competitiveness. Um, I think I was raised that way. My pops always instilled that in me. And um, as well as my friend group, I've always raised, I was always raised around. Um, we was always super competitive with each other, and it hasn't stopped. You competitive at everything? Yeah. Okay. Everything. So what's your experience been like so far in El Paso? It's been fun. Uh, very welcoming environment. Um, been able to spend some time with teammates. Um, grow closer to some some people, and it's been fun. You know, hanging out in a hotel a lot with our guys. It's, it's been a fun experience. The night at the edition of the Sunbolt, the second oldest. It's a special for for Notre Dame to be part of, of this uh, number of a bowl. Number of, 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 of special for you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, doubt. Um, 
you know, this this year it's, it's big on us. We want to get those 10 wins in, and you know, this is a great great time to do it and great environment to do it in. How much has that been top of mind for you guys to get that 10th win? Um, well, it's first about just winning the winning the game. You know, want to know, but obviously that's in our back of our mind. Um, sitting at nine right now and coming from nine last year, you know, just to take a step forward in, for the program and as a team. What's your mindset going into this one without Cam playing? The opportunity for playing time is going to be higher than it has been all season? Yeah, same as it's always been. Um, really just focusing on every rep, winning the rep, winning each day, leading up to the game. And, you know, I've always been right behind Cam, so I've always went into the game in case somebody gets hurt. So it's, it's pretty much the same approach for me, focused, locked in on the details, and ready to go. Did he have any message for you when he opted out, kind of encouraging you to have a big one in this game? Yeah, I mean, we talk all the time. You know, he'll be up here, and we'll talk some more. So same thing as always. Anything else for Jaden? Did your mom have any requests uh, for interception, et cetera, in this one? Nah, just go out there and do what I do. All right, thanks, Jaden. Thanks, Ryan.